Hi, Steve and Caleb here with another edition of Smithbusters. And today, Caleb, what do you got for us? We are going to be addressing the myth that you can't shoot ammunition that has gotten wet. You mean while it's wet or been wet in the past or? Whatever you want, Steve. Either okay. or. It's okay. Battlefield wet? Battlefield wet, your flood wet. Uh, swamp rain, wet. Swamp wet, wet. I can't talk. You drop your 22s in the bottom of the boat and there's water in there. Yeah, you know, or the you're in South Louisiana and your house just flooded and your entire ammo stash is now underwater. I can't imagine that happening to anybody. So uh, what happens when ammo gets wet? Well, ammo is a metallic cartridge in most cases, um, like this rifle ammo here that has been wet. You can see the box is all wrinkly up, and that's the first indicator that this ammunition has been wet, that it's, a, it's in a paper box, and that box has seen better days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but who cares about the box? Let's talk about the actual cartridges themselves. So other than maybe a little bit of corrosion on the outside and a little bit of you know, like surface blemish and whatnot, um, that's really the only indicator you may get from the actual ammunition itself. Sure. So, and you know, with a lot of different ammos out there, especially like your military ammunitions, um, the primers are going to be sealed. Right. They will which be. That is to prevent moisture from getting in around that primer. Yeah, and the projectile has got sealant on it a lot the, of times. Yep. Too. You'll see that rim, that ring of uh, sealant around the projectile itself on the tip of the the bullet, or right underneath the tip of the bullet where the bullet meets the case. Uh, so those are, if those go underwater, in most cases you're you're good with those, unless there's some heavy corrosion on the outside where the brass is just wearing down. Right. But even regular commercial ammo, um, if it falls in the water, the water's not going to actually get in there unless you get some pressure, or some depth on it or something, or leave it in for a really long time. So when I was gunsmithing in Louisiana, people were, oh, I, we've talked about this before, I've done mm -hmm. a lot of flood gun restorations, and when they bring in those flood guns, a lot of times they bring in a crate of old ammo yeah. boxes saying this was all underwater, what do I do? Um, so the first question is, you know, how long was it underwater? So typically the stuff that wasn't underwater very long, uh, we actually took into the range and shot and it worked just fine. Yeah. It's whenever the stuff was left underwater for an extended amount of time. Uh, like, you know, some people, you, you can't, it, when, when there's flood situations like that, you can't get back to your house, you know, for almost 24 hours later in some cases, maybe even more. That's when it becomes an issue because they're sitting underwater, they're not sealed, that water's slowly but surely creeping into those cases, they're creeping in around the primers, so right. uh, those did not fire. We got a lot of misfires with those. And it's kind of hit and miss with shotgun ammo too. Yeah, Some shot of that stuff sealed pretty well and some of it is not. Yeah, I've noticed that almost with all the shotgun ammo that people brought in, almost none of that fired. Yeah. So let's look at what we got here. Water damaged package. Yep. And so we don't have to worry about messing it up. It was a partial box to start with. The stuff doesn't look too bad. It's got a little yeah. discoloration here and there. There's some corrosion on the back of that one right there. But other than yeah. that, I mean, it's just a little bit. That'll that'll wipe off. It's not eating into the brass itself. So yeah. I, I would say that's fine. Some of the things that you may run into if it doesn't work fine, you may just run into a light strike where you get absolutely nothing. Uh, the primer doesn't go off at all. Or you might get a hang fire. Right. Um, also, in the military, what we call a pop and no kick. That's uh, when the, the primer goes off, um, but the, it doesn't ignite the powder right away. So it's, uh, the primer goes off, a few seconds, maybe one, one or two, maybe even half a second goes by, then the powder ignites and the bullet goes off. So that, that can be potentially dangerous. Yeah. So if, the, if you hear that primer go off, keep that gun pointed down range uh, for you know, at least a minute or so just to be on the safe side, then you can go ahead and eject that round. Yeah, so if your brass cases have turned green, you just may have a problem. Yeah. Well, I'd say that myth is sort of busted. It just depends on the condition of the ammo. Yeah, I would agree, 100%. Just so. getting it wet doesn't, uh, doesn't make that big of a difference. Not at all. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you have a comment or an opinion on this, please let us know in the comments. We'd like to hear from you. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you again with the next edition of Smithbusters.